Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Toddler Storytime with Fond du Lac Public Library. My name is Miss Sarah, and I'm so happy to have you here with us today. Um, while we're stuck in our homes, I'm at my home, you're at your home, but we are trying to stay connected to you like this. So hopefully that's working. Uh, we miss seeing you guys, so we can't wait until we'll all be back in the library and get to know everybody and get to see each other again. If you want us to see you in the meantime, which we would love, please leave some photos in the comments. That would be great. We would love to see you guys and what you guys are doing to keep busy while the library is closed. If you're watching story time or if you're singing and reading or if you are getting outside and doing something active, we just miss your faces. We love to see you guys. So we're gonna get started with our welcome song. I don't know if you just heard that. Mr. Cheddar is here. He's my cat. Sometimes he makes an appearance in story time and sometimes he doesn't. So we'll see how it goes today. So we're gonna start with a welcome song. Um, did you all bring your hands? Can you show me your hands? Yeah, good job. So we're gonna clap our hands. And did you bring your feet? Where are your feet? All the way down there. And what do you do with your feet? You stomp them. Are you ready to stomp your feet? Good. And then where are your eyes? Can you show me where your eyes are? Right there on your face. Good job. We're going to hide our eyes and play peekaboo. Okay, are we ready? We're going to start with our clapping hands. Here we go. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Good job. All right, now we're going to move on to our stomping feet. Are you ready? Here we go. Feet are stomping, stomp, stomp, stomp. Feet are stomping, stomp, stomp, stomp. Feet are stomping, stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp your feet, my darling. Good job. And now we're going to play peekaboo. So we're going to hide our eyes and play peekaboo. Ready? Eyes are hiding peekaboo. Eyes are hiding, peekaboo. Eyes are hiding, peekaboo. Peekaboo, my darling. Good job, everybody. Alrighty. I put my little remote here. Okay, there we go. And of course, it's not working. Oh, because it's not on. Silly me. Technical difficulties. Okay, sorry for that delay. Okay, so we have a little visitor every story time. <clears throat> Can you see who this is? Who's flying in to visit us at story time? That's a bird. And what color is this bird? Red, that's right. This is a red bird. And you may not have a bird like this at your house. So you can use your hand to be a red bird, or you can use your finger to be a red bird, whatever you want. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our birds and we're going to hide them away. And then we're going to sing a little song and hopefully they'll come out. Ready? Here we go. Where is red bird? Where is a red bird? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this day, bird? Very well, I thank you fly away fly away good job all right we have another birdie friend with us this morning what color is this bird orange that's right and did you know that orange is miss sarah's favorite color so this might be my favorite bird okay so you take your orange birds and hide them behind your back and we'll sing our little song again. Here we go. Where is orange bird? Where is orange bird? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this day, bird? Very well, I thank you. Fly away. Fly away. Good job. All right. I think we have one more birdie visitor this morning. Can you guys see what color? Oh, that's what color this bird is. It's the same color as Miss Sarah's shirt. What color is that? Pink, that's right. So we have pink bird. So get your pink bird out and hide it away behind your back. And we're gonna sing our little song. Here we go. 
Where is Pink Bird? Where is Pink Bird? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this day, bird? Very well, I thank you. Fly away. Fly away. Good job. Yes, Cheddar is very interested in our birds. So he had to contribute to our our bird song there. Thank you for that, Cheddar. Okay. All right, we're going to learn a sign today. And since Mr. Cheddar is being so talkative this morning, we're going to learn the sign for a cat. Okay. So to make the sign for cat, you're going to take your thumb and your pointer finger up next to your mouth and you're going to pinch them together and draw them out like you were drawing cat's whiskers. So like the whiskers on a kitty cat, cat, cat. Good job. Isn't it fun to learn a new language? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to sing? Good. Okay. So we're going to sing if you're happy and you know it. We're going to do it just a little bit differently. So we're going to clap our hands and we're going to stomp our feet. But then we're going to play peekaboo because it's so much fun. And then we'll shout hooray. All right. Are you ready? Get your clapping hands out. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Get ready to stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Okay, ready to play peekaboo? If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo. Peekaboo! If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo! Peekaboo! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo! Peekaboo! Good job! And ready to shout hooray? I want you to be really loud. Here we go! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Good job, everybody! Okay, now that we have sung If You're Happy and You Know It, I think it's time for our story. Are you guys ready? Can you do our little uh, song with me? Yeah? Okay, good. Here we go. Look, look, it's time for a book. Look, Look, it's time for a book. Look, look, it's time for a book. Time for a book right now. Good job. Okay, today's story is called Kitten's First Full Moon and it is by Kevin Henkes. And we are reading it thanks to HarperCollins Publishers. All right, are we ready? Here we go. It was Kitten's First Full Moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky. And she wanted it. So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. Can you guys close your eyes and stretch out your neck and open your mouth and lick? Good job. But kitten, only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor kitten. Hopefully none of you got bugs on your tongue. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom. Can you wiggle your bottom? And sprang from the top step of the porch. Can you jump up? Good job. But kitten only tumbled bumping her nose and banging her ear and pinching her tail. Poor kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. 
So she ran to the tallest tree she could find, and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. But Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk, and now she was scared. Poor Kitten. What could she do? What is she going to do? <gasps> then, in the pond, Kitten saw another bowl of milk, and it was bigger. What a night. Oh, do you see that? In the pond and there's the moon so here in the pond that's called a reflection but kitten thinks it's a bowl of milk so she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond she leaped with all of her might what's gonna happen when kitten jumps oh poor kitten she was wet and sad and tired and hungry. She jumped right into the pond. So she went back home. Poor sad little, look at how wet she is. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch, just waiting for her. Oh, yay. Lucky kitten. The end. So she finally got her bowl of milk. Yay, I had a happy ending. I love happy endings. Good job. All right, are you guys ready to get up and do a little moving? Actually, we're going to do a little bouncing. So if you have somebody nearby that you love, whose lap you can sit in, we're going to sing Humpty Dumpty and we're gonna bounce and we're gonna rock side to side and then we're gonna have a great big fall, okay? And if you don't wanna sit in somebody's lap, you, if you have a stuffed friend, you can, use, you can use them to do this or you can move your body just like I'm moving my body and pretend that way. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. All the king's horses and all the king's men, they couldn't put Humpty back together again. Good job. Do you guys want to do that one again? Yeah, let's do that again. And this time I will just show you what you could do if you don't have a stuffed friend or you don't want to sit in someone's lap. Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then all the king's horses and all the king's men, they couldn't put Humpty back together again. All the king's horses and all the king's men, they couldn't put Humpty back together again. Good job, everybody. Okay. Whoops. Man, Miss Sarah's having a lot of technical difficulties this time around. Okay. So there are five simple practices that will help get your kids ready to read. They are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. Today we're just going to focus briefly on writing. So placing beads on strings, simple jigsaw puzzles, lacing string through holes, and even pinching clothespins open and shut are all simple activities that build your child's fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination, skills that they will need for writing later on. So if you have beads and string lying around or a very easy jigsaw puzzle or some string and you have a hole punch, you can make some holes, or even if you just have clothespins that they can pinch open and shut, all of those things that you might have laying around the house, they can use those to build their hand strength, build their fine motor skills, and build their hand-eye coordination. Okay, are you ready to zoom, zoom them to the moon? Yeah, okay, good. So we're gonna zoom, zoom, zoom. We're gonna clap. And then we're gonna count backwards from five and we're gonna blast off with a big jump. Is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job. All right, let's do that again since it's so fun. This time we'll do it quiet and we'll get a little bit louder and then we'll be really loud when we blast off. 
You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job. All right, we're gonna be popcorn kernels. So you can do this one a couple different ways as well. If you have somebody who you love whose lap you wanna sit in, you can do that and then they will pop you up. You can lift them up and down. Um, or if you have a stuffed friend, you can use them. Or if you just wanna be a popcorn kernel, we can do it that way too. So I will show you uh, what that looks like. Okay, we'll start with that in case you don't have anybody around. Okay, ready? Here we go. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job. All right, let's do that one again and I'll show you what it looks like otherwise. Ready? Okay, here we go. Popcorn kernels, pop. Corn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job. Isn't that fun? It's fun to pretend. All right, it's time to mix a pancake. So if you're already in somebody's lap, that's great. Stay there. If you already have a stuffed friend with you in your lap, that's also great. But if you don't have either of those things, go ahead and find them if you can, or you can just follow along with me. I'll show you the actions. We're gonna mix up some pancakes. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan, fry the pancake, Toss the pancake and catch it if you can. Good job. Let's do that one again. Okay, here we go. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan, fry a pancake, toss a pancake and catch it if you can. Good job, everybody. All right, it's time to get our beehives out. So we make our beehives with our fists and we are gonna count out some bees that are gonna come out of our hives and they are going to buzz and tickle us, okay? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five, they're alive. Bzzz. Good job. Do you guys wanna do that one again? Yeah, that's fun. Let's do it again. All right, this time if you are with uh, somebody that you love and they will let you do it to them, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can do it just as, as you've been doing it. All right, everybody ready? Get your beehives out, here we go. Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five, they're alive. Bzzz. Good job. All right, that means it's the end of story time, so it's time to say goodbye with our goodbye song. So I need everybody to get out there waving hands and we are gonna say goodbye. All right, now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you all next time. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget we have preschool story time at 1030 right after this. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we have another toddler time at 930 and another preschool time at 1030. We have family story time on Thursday at 130 for your slightly older kids and then baby story time on Friday morning at 930. Bye, you guys. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.